Yes, indeed, an inspirational story. We've had a fantastic, very much Mandela-inspired Monday. I am so privileged to have some men join us now and this incredible machine that has seen a lot of miles. Um, welcome to the show. Thank you Thank so you. much. Um, what an incredible journey. Please give us a bit of background. What prompted this odyssey 16 years in the making? Uh, actually, um, uh, thanks to you all. And um, uh, I have started my journey 27th of May 2004 from a remote village of India, uh, which is uh, 80 kilometers far from Kolkata. Uh, it is a well-known Sundarban is a mangrove forest and the largest tiger reserve of India. So what is the, uh, what is the missions behind? Uh, when I was 40, 14 years old, I read in newspaper that one man was died by HIV AIDS and he was not so far from my village. So when that person was laid down in front of the medical college of Kolkata and he died alone, so I uh, really uh, was, it was a really a touch, a, a, a touch for me. And then I wanted to inquire what, is, what about AIDS. So when I was 16 years old, I read about uh, AIDS and I got a special training from West Bengal AIDS Prevention and Control Society, which uh, took me uh, when I was 20 to these missions. So 27th of May 2004, I have started my journey and last 11 years, I'm 98 countries on the road. I almost uh, passed 117,000 kilometers on the road <laughs> and uh, uh, wonderful journey 2004 to 2006, all India, 2006 to 2009, all Asia, 2009 to 2012, all Europe. And that travel took me to North Pole, Greenland. And after that, 2012 to 2015, all Africa and Middle East. The way you talk about this, it's like you, you're recounting a holiday that you were on for a couple of weeks. This is half of your life that you have spent on the back of a bicycle. Is this the first bicycle that you started on? How many bikes have you gone through? Actually, I got stolen three bikes, Bulgaria, <laughs> Poland and Germany. And uh, three bikes, I sent it back to my museum because it is not good condition. So this is my seventh bike which I'm traveling with. And uh, I'm really uh, living with the world because, you know, uh, uh, nine, uh, 39 uh, million people who are uh, already uh, uh, HIV infected in this world and uh, 1.5 million people already died. So uh, 35 million people who are living uh, with HIV in this world, I think that uh, I have emissions for them. So I, uh, I always, wherever I'm going, I'm conveying the message, I'm visiting different school, college, universities, where I'm passing through the message and uh, giving awareness program with presentations. My message is this, that don't isolate it, HIV positive people, give them a clean and clear idea. They will contribute the society. Not only that, also the same time, so you can convey this message for the youth, because I'm a youth and I choose the youth on a mission. And I believe that each and every youth has own idea. So we can give them space and their idea could be a good effort for the society. So this 16 years epic journey, I believe that, which was started 2004, it will be finished 2020 and it will be, uh, take me to 191 countries of the world and uh, convey the message of the world for peace, divinity, love and happiness. So I believe that this world, uh, and I, I believe I am a global citizen and that's why I'm, I'm going to build a global village in India in the back to 2020. And these 20 million people who are meeting, I believe they are part of my family and, and they are part of my, uh, my, my, my world. Uh, which I am uh, going to finish uh, in 2020. And I will continue my journey from here to uh, till Senegal, uh, which will be the last uh, point of Africa. Then I will continue 2015 to 17, all America, with South Pole, Antarctica. Then 2018 will be Canada, Russia, Siberia, Mongolia, and China. 2019, Japan, Philippines, New Zealand, Australia. Then 2020, Sumatra, Malaysia, Indonesia, Myanmar, Bangladesh, India. So my tour will be finished with 27th the, the, the of May 2004. The journey isn't even, yeah, it hasn't So I even believe ended, that yeah. uh, this is, it is not my own journey. This is only not, not my journey. It is all over the world journey which I choose. And I believe that uh, world with me and I am uh, conveying the message of peace. And, and we, we feel it. I think South Africa, obviously, we have a, a, a huge relevance to, around HIV and AIDS here in South Africa. It really is um, one of the biggest messages that we try to drive as well. You haven't always been well received, though, everywhere you've gone. You've had some hairy moments. Talk to me about being captured by the Taliban. So, actually, I was traveling from Kabul to Herat, 146 kilometers after I was stopped. And uh, one car was behind of me, and he was stopped me. Uh, uh, they, they stopped me, and five people came out, and they were starting to beating from their gun, gun, gun point and backside. I forgot how to speak. I was 
running down my cheeks, my tears, and I was, uh, I, I, wow. I totally, totally, totally forgot what I will do. So I was showing my board in front of my board, and I was telling that I'm a people ambassador. I'm traveling all over the world for this reason, so uh, for this cause. They couldn't understand. So in that time, two persons were fighting to each other. One was telling, shoot him. One was telling, no, no, no wait, 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 wait. Maybe he could be informer. So, uh, so what they did, I was blindfolded. They took me a long drive, and where four days I couldn't see my uh, see sunlight. So after that, uh, four days after, there are so many questions what I face. Uh, what do you think about uh, Musliman? I told, uh, as I know, Musul e Iman. So each and every time and condition, uh, all the time and condition, if one person Iman, faith, believe, and honesty with them, then they are a Musliman. Although I'm a Hindu, my religion also saying the same, and I respect your culture. There is a universal So truth. then they told, yeah. what do you think about Quran? So I told uh, that uh, I, I'm a science student, and I, I think Quran is a, one of the scientific books which I respect it. And uh, I, I, I'm in my bag, I have a Quran, and I'm occasionally reading it. So what happened to later on, then they told, what do you think about our mission? I told, I don't know what is your mission. <laughs> I'm Soman Devnath, I have an individual mission. I respect my mission. I respect all over the world, indiv any individual mission. So my duty to respect your mission. So then they told, if we not to let you do, uh, let you go, what will you do? I told, give me some work. <laughs> uh, if I cannot continue my mission, I can help you somehow. So I became a cleaner. So I told, uh, I cannot take a gun and I cannot to go to war farm to fight with others, but, but I can somehow help I can you. Do this. So, so I can clean your house, I can clean your weapons, even I can clean your, I can wash your clothes. So I became a cleaner for nine days. <laughs> then last, uh, and saved your own uh, life. then after ah. that, what happened? Then they told, uh, they told me that uh, some men, uh, then I told, I cannot eat your food. Would you, mean, would you mind to let me to cook for you? Then I can also eat your food. So then one day I made them lunch and they really like it. So, so uh, later on what happened that I became last 11 days their cook. So one day they told me, so many we will let you go, but what you will tell to the rest of the world? I told, I should be thankful. I should but be thankful for the oh. peers of all over the world, how I made people. I should be thankful to you because you could let me go to fulfill my mission. And I should be thankful to all over the world, whoever I will meet oh, in man. future. So man, I think we should be thankful for you and the work that you're doing and, and the fact that you have chosen to visit South Africa in this incredible odyssey. I know that we can follow your journey on somendebna.com. That's your website. Um, and I know a lot of South Africans are going to be very closely following what you are doing in the next stage of your adventure. Somend, thank you so thank much you for so joining much. us this morning. Thank really you. do appreciate it. Well, it really is turning into an inspirational Mandela Monday. It just keeps on coming. We're going to see you after a very short outbreak. More Motivational Monday on the way.